Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor. Today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful, beautiful seascape. And it has sunset colors and a big cloudy sky. And I'm going to show you very easy techniques to do this painting. And let's get started. Now here are the materials that you will need to do this painting with us. So all you need is your primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and green. Oh, sorry red, yellow, and blue, and add some green and brown and white. So, we're not going to use black today. We're going to make our own black if we need it, okay? And then all you need is get a chiseled edge brush. This is a chiseled edge brush. And, um, hi! And it has a nice chiseled edge on it there. So if I ask you to use a fan brush, you can use this chiseled edge brush instead in case you don't have one. And you can also use, I have a 16 by 20 canvas, so I'm going to use a, a one inch brush, bristle brush, to spread my paint. And you can also use, well here's your fan brush. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, that should be it for now. If we need anything else, I'll let you know. But just get those materials ready, your paints and your brushes and your paper towels and everything that you need. And, um... Also, your cat. Let's see what we can do with this little rock over here. Seems to be kind of not sure what he's doing. He or she, who knows? All right, I, what I need to do is get it horizontal. See, that's better. Because so these are little things that you have to fix up. All right, that's why I'm doing this to show you. I could do a painting. I could do it in like different steps and I could uh, have like um, lesson number one, two, three, and four and really keep digging into the, um, the, de the details. But you know, you might, you might sit there and go, okay, there's an awful lot of detail or whatever. You want to move on. So I want to make these videos so that you can get them done fairly quickly, a couple of hours. And I pause this video every now and then. So might look like an hour or two hour video, but in actual fact, where I had to stop and gather my thoughts and get my things together, it probably took me four or five, six hours to do the painting. But anyway, that's fun, and we'll continue on highlighting the rocks. Okay, so now let's highlight those rocks. Now, see a little closer for you without... Okay, so what we're going to do is to highlight those rocks again. Is I'm just going to put some red and yellow together and a little bit of brown, okay? But I'm making it a bit lighter for the camera. All right. I'm just mixing some yellow, a bit of red. I don't know, add a bit of brown. Maybe even let's try a bit of white. But I'm doing this, uh, you know, if you don't want it that bright, you don't have to, okay? I got a small flat brush. And I'm going to start at the top. I always like to start at the top. It helps me get control. Top, and I'm going to pull down, but I'm going to miss some spots. I want to keep some of those dark, so I'm just going to jump over. See? I'm just jumping over places. All right. Bring that one down here a little bit. Just sort of scraping it on. Trying to find places where I think it might look good. Okay. Good, and I see some down here. You can almost see them, you know, in the when you put on your paint, you'll see some lights and darks a little bit, right? I'm gonna leave that like that and we'll fix it up after. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if that's a bit better. So I'm going to try the other two rocks were not too bad. You know, they're, uh, but because I put on the paint and some of the lighter or darker came through, that's kind of cool too, you know, when you put on your paint and you see some of the canvas come through or whatever, it helps you get some shapes. So I'm just going to go back with the yellow and a bit of red and a bit of white for me. And I'm going to, I got some pretty nice little things going on here. Let's say this, let's say we decide where the light is coming from. Did, there's some sun shining in here and sparkles down. It's sort of 
going on on both sides here. So why don't we just say the light is going to hit off the edge of these rocks here and the top of this rock. Good. Good. So we'll just say it's hitting off the back of these rocks. Just put a little bit here and there, depending on your shape of the rock and how your rock came out. Good. I just I just put a few little lines on there, but it you know whatever way you put it on, just make sure. Just make sure that you leave some darks, okay? Leave the darks. Uh, that way you'll get some nice shapes. Good. Let's try another. Let's see. Let's see. How about we put some on these rocks here? We don't need a lot of highlight. We're just going to grab a few little tops here. There we go. Just just pull it. I, I start at the top and pull down. Start at the top and pull down. That'll give you a better shape. Okay. Give you a bit of better shape. I'll have to um, add some more darks to that. I can see that now. Okay. So, so as you can see, I did here. I need to lighten that up so you can see it. Just skipping over, jumping over the darks, putting some little strokes on there, and makes it look like there we go. Good. Just keep your darks and you'll be in the in the in the head of the game, I guess you call it. <laughs> so let's just pretend there's a few rocks here. Okay, I'm just gonna pull back. I'm just gonna start at the top and pull down. Good. Kind of looks too uh Symmetric. So I'm going to take my brush and clean it off, and then I'm going to drag some of this shake. I'm going to um, smooth it out with my brush. Just, just dry brush it. I'm just going to go over it and dry brush. Make sure your brush is. There we go. We'll fix all that up after. So if you want it to look more shapely, you just touch and pull, touch and pull. But I have to. Uh, put some more darks on there. We have to put more darks in there. We do. Us. Yes. That'll do for now. So now what I want to do are the other, those uh, background hills. Let's put some brown on there and some yellow and some white. And we'll just take, like I said, start at the top. Pull over at the top and then move down, but skip a few little there. Uh, skip, 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 and jump. There we go. The colors are not coming out the way I like them, but anyway, there we go. And so I'm just pulling on a few highlights. Let's put some highlights on the background hill back here. We don't want them to be too dark because this, these hills are further away. And we're just going to put on some little highlight up here, a little highlight here, jump over there, come down here, and on the front. With a few little strokes. Okay, good. Good. Got that one, and now we'll do another one. So let's do this little one in the corner over here. And because I put on some dark paint and the, uh, I got some streaks from that paint, I'm gonna use that for a guide. So I'm just going to lighten it up a little brown, my brown with a little bit of white, and some yellow if you want it. It's gonna come down the front here, and down here. Just making these little, there we go, because we're going to put some darks back in there now to shape it all up. So there we go, and down here, down to the rocks, we're going to put some highlights on those rocks. Some brown, 
I'm going to put brown on one side. I'm trying some different techniques to see if that helps you guys. Brown on one side and yellow on the other. And I'm just going to take the brown side down and I'm going to shape up that rock. Shape up that rock. Oh no. Just by going back. I'm starting at the top and pulling back. I'm flipping over my yellow. And the yellow on the... There we go. Start at the top and then flip back. Give it some shape. And pull some down in front. Some here. Some down the front a little bit here. And some more over here. Just want to make sure my arm don't get in the way. Okay, I'm using my right hand. I'm left-handed. I'm left-handed trying to use my right hand. Oh no. Tragedy. Tragedy is going to happen. <laughs> so I'm just picking out some spots here. Cleaning up those edges here. Softening up those edges. There we go. So you can make any kind of rocks you want. And we'll we'll also um, I'll be highlighting them again. Oops. So all I want to do is get things in place first, okay? That's what we're doing. All we're doing is getting things in place, figuring out what kind of colors we want to use, how we want to shape our rocks, how we want our painting to look, okay? So now let's do some stuff with the beach. Now why don't we darken up our beach again? Because it's all streaky, because I only put one coat on there, okay? So let's just um, straighten it up and put a few rocks on there. How's that? So I'm just going to take some brown with a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. Just brown with a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. Mix it in. Nice dark brown. Good. And now let's just fill that in there. That's all we're doing. I'm just filling it in because I need the second coat. That's the only reason I'm doing this. The first coat I did was uh, very streaky. All right. Fill it in. No need to do anything special or different or certain way. Okay, so let's continue on with our beach. Good. You can have it shaped whatever way you want. You know, I'm just got, I just put on a line here so it looks like it's going over the beach. There we go. Good. A little bit of brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. That will darken it up for you a bit. Give it a nice underpainting. That's what you're doing here now is an underpainting. Yep, no particular way. Just get the lines straightened up up here so you the water comes in on the beach. Good. It's a little beach for now. What we'll do now is we'll add some rocks to our beach. So what we're going to do now is put some rocks on our beach. Oh, I'm just going to add some black to my brown, see if that works. Because you guys can't see that. Let me try this. Up and over and down. Straight line. See, can you see that better? Straight over up and down, straight over up and down, straight line hump, straight line hump. I hope you can see all those big old rocks. Good. And we'll add some more. I'm going to add a bit of white to my dark black and brown, but you can continue because you, you'll be able to see yours better. Um, because you're standing in front of your painting, so you can just use the dark brown straight line and over and fill in. Good. You can even make another rock right here if you like. Just make some rocks, a few old rocks there. 
So just make a few humps and add a few bumps and away to go. Good. So I'm going to darken that up now so you can see that I'm using brown and black to darken up. But I'd like for you to use the dark color that I showed you how to do with the uh, red and blue and brown and that will darken it up for you. Good. But you can also use pure black if you want to and just make your rock so you can see it. And then you highlight it and you won't be able to get rid of most of the, the black. You can add brown to it. So I'm just going to start highlighting some of these rocks. Now I'm going to use more yellow, a bit of white, just so that I can show you. Like I say, you can go ahead and put on your own colors. So let's just get that, start from the top and pull down, okay? Start from the top and pull down. Start from the top and pull down. That gives you a, flattens out the back and gives you those kind of rocks. All right. And while the paint is still wet, why don't we clean our brush off and smooth it around. So just clean your brush off with a bit of tissue and then just move the paint around. Just make these little circles or anything that will get the paint moving. Okay. I'm going to wipe off my brush more. We'll be putting some uh, darks back in there. Just move the paint around. There we go. That way you're going to get... I got other videos on how to paint rocks. Three easy steps to painting rocks and things like that. So I can uh, give you the links in, in below so you can go and, and practice some rocks. Okay? Um, if you're having a hard time following what I'm doing here. So, let's go over to these over here. Let's get some bright colors. I'm going to get yellow and a bit of red and a bit of brown and a bit of white. Just get some light colors. And I'm going to do these other rocks. So the light is shining in here, so we want to go and put the light on the back of the rock over here. Good. Just going to move it around a little bit. But I started on the top and moved back. Now I'm just moving it around a little bit. Okay. And we'll do the same with the other rocks. Some light colors. Come on down to start from the top and pull back. Start from the top and pull down. Just come right down. Clean up your rock a little bit lumpy, too lumpy, or whatever you want shape you want. Let's go over here. So start from the top, pull back, and then you can go wherever you want after that. Once you get it started, you should be fine. Alright, so now, clean off your brush, really good. Just wipe it off in your tissue, okay? That's all I do, is I wipe it off in my tissue. And then I'm just going to move that around while it's still a bit wet. Dries on you, you can't really move it around. So then you have to put more paint on. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, we have some of those rocks done. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make little tiny beach rocks. 